this is a tough business oh, to run for oh, president. Oh, I know. You're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is pr Real principled. Tough. I will take it to Hillary Clinton, and I will whoop her. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting Jeb, your way to well, the presidency. Let's see. I'm at 42, and you're at 3. So, Doesn't so matter. far, I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. Dr. Carson. Thank you, Wolf. Please join me for a moment of silence and remembrance of Jeb Bush's campaign. <laughs> I love my dad. I'd kill for him. I'd go to prison for him because I love him so much. I'll give him a warm kiss. Uh... How do you do, fellow kids? What? I was in Washington, Iowa, about three months ago, talking about how bad Washington, D.C. is. It was, to get the kind of the... Anyway. For goodness sake. A well, uh, good morning to the people that are actually up. It's really fucking early where I am, but Dean wanted this time. He said it worked best for him, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, he'll be joining us shortly. He had something to do this morning. He said he should be back at 7 punctually, but it might be a few minutes late, so I figured I'd start up early and just shoot the shit and kill a little bit of time before we actually get into this. For everybody just... Tuning in randomly, you have no idea what the fuck is going on. Dean Emsme, I think I'm saying that right, Esme, maybe, uh, decided to, um, I, I don't really know how, to, he, he decided to discuss the topic of uh, the New Year's Eve events, as he would put it, in Germany. Uh, disagreed with the majority of people saying that he, he didn't believe uh, this was a um, group of individuals that was targeting women. Uh, I thought it was fabricated and had a lot to say on it. So I decided to bring him on. He wanted to come on to talk about it. So that that is what this is about. Uh, I'm just calling it Meadowcast because I'm too lazy to make another dumb fucking picture to put up. So this works. Again, he'll be coming on. If, if you want to hear that, great. If you don't, uh, tune out. Go to work. Go back to sleep. Go back to bed. I, I don't know what the fuck you're doing up this early anyway. Unless you're actually working or going to university or something. You should be sleeping right now. 11.53 p.m. represent, somebody in the chat said. That is, uh, yeah, yeah, you should be getting some sleep. I don't know, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, somebody in the chat, open 4991, uh, he just lashed out at you. Yeah, you could say that, we'll, we'll go over it. Uh, I, I don't want to put any words in Dean's mouth, but as he had so eloquently put it on Twitter, I am a uh, bigoted neo-Nazi leading a lynch mob to kill Muslim men by falsely accusing them of crimes they did not commit. Because Islam didn't do nothing. We can't we can't say anything bad about Islam. They didn't do nothing. So, um, me being the person I am, I don't I don't know, maybe you've heard uh, on Reddit they've talked about it. I am responsible for having homosexuals thrown off of rooftops in the Middle East. That is something I am solely responsible for. So I mean clearly it just makes sense that I'd be leading a lynch mob now to go kill the very people that I was facilitating uh, and helping murder all the homosexuals in the Middle East. I get around. I get bored, you know? I like to vary it up a little bit. Let's kill some gays, but then let's get some Muslims, too. we got to get those notches on our belt. We want to really, really uh, even out the tally of the amount of people that I can murder. Uh, Dean is still absent, I believe. Let's see. I have faith that he'll show, but we'll... We'll see where it is. Let me check the audio level while I got a second anyway. Okay, we're good. Sounds good. We're good to go. Show you the link to what, Zero San? To the, uh, to, to the people being thrown off of rooftops? I don't know. We'd, we'd have to dig through um, the YNC or Live Leaks or something like that to find you the uh, 
the videos of all the gays being murdered in my name in the Middle East. Who the fuck is Dean, says Nuke. That's a great question. I don't know who Dean is. Dean is just somebody that approached me on Twitter. I have not heard of Dean before. I don't know what Dean does, where Dean lives, what Dean engages in. So he, he can explain it when he comes on. Maybe he'll give you the spiel of who he is and what he believes in before we get into talking about this. Uh, no, I, I, I'm fairly certain somebody's saying they'd laugh if he doesn't show. I, I'm pretty sure he's going to show up. I don't see why he wouldn't. Uh, he's awake right now. I'm awake right now. And this is the time that he asked for. Personally, I would have liked to have done it about four or five hours from now because I'm fucking tired. But um, he wanted to do it. Jim, go back to bed. Jade is cold and alone, you faggot. She's out in the cornfield right now. Of course she's cold. It's 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 Minnesota. She's got it's like sub zero out there right now. She's a, a jade sickle. There's no warming that up. So I can't I can't I'm not gonna go out in the cornfield with her. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm warm inside. I'm staying inside. Uh Dean is or was an MRA, is he not? Again, I don't know anything about him. So he can explain who he is and uh, what his belief system is and his ideology and all that shit. Don't, I'm not going to put words into his mouth until we get w until he's here and then we can discuss it. Eurofag stream. Yeah, I suppose this would work out for people in Europe. Generally, I do mine in the evening in America, so you guys, I don't know what the fuck's going on in Bongland. I'm, I'm not sure what you people do. I, I don't really pay attention to European time. I'm an American. I use the only, uh, the only time, the only clock system that matters, okay, is the time that's here. What do you guys do in Europe? Who, who cares? You count the bongs. So right now in Europe, what is it, like 13 bongs, 28 bongs? I'm not, I'm not sure what time it is over there. Uh, yeah, people keep asking, who is Dean? Uh, again, um, I'll let him explain. I will read off his Twitter bio to give you an idea. Dean Esme, I think I'm saying that right. The MRA neckbeard they warned you about. Pro-theist, pro-humanist, non-libertarian, non-socialist. Chestertonian. Good luck proving me wrong. I say fuck a lot. So, I don't know if that clues you into what we're, uh, what we're about to embark on, but there you go. That's what his little bio says. Thirty-seven stones. That's that's the time right now in Bongland. Is that how you measure it with stones? I, I know you guys measure pretty much everything else in fucking stones over there, so it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, it's fifteen pounds now. Clearly, it's fifteen pounds past thirteen stones. I, I don't know. That's a European watch. They're very large to fit all those words on, but you get the point. Okay, so I, I'm wagering from what Dean had said that uh, we should be we should be close to going here. About another five minutes and he should be good to go. I I will, uh, Chad. I will ask him his stance on gout. I know that's very important. That you are desperate to know about his stance on gout. We will go over that. Ten dollars says it's Sargon just trolling. Uh, no, I don't believe this is Sargon. I, I'm fairly certain this is. Uh, an individual who is not Sargon's alternate uh, trolling account. Uh, what do Americans measure time in? Uh, Rune Longsword, you're asking? We measure it in freedom. See, in America, we measure time by the amount that we can speak without being interrupted by somebody, which is pretty much infinite. See, we can say whatever the fuck we want. I know if I went over to Europe and I tried to speak freely, I'd have somebody sticking a ruler up my ass because they might get offended. God help me if I go onto social media anywhere in Europe and type something. I might get arrested and thrown in. I, I don't even know what you guys use for fucking jails over there. Dungeons? You, you just use dungeons under the, all the fucking castles that litter the landscape, I'm guessing? So yeah, over here it's freedom. That's right, USA. <laughs> they measure it in black dicks. Oh, I could see Sweden doing that. I could see Sweden using a clock made out of nothing but black 
Cox. All right, let me just get this set up. I will try to ring up. Uh, I'll try to ring up Dean and see if I can get him. And in the meantime, I'll just keep shooting the shit until he shows. Oh, you used mosques. Is that is that what you used to measure time over there? That's uh, that's great. Oh, cool. All right, Dean's here, so I will pull him in, and we will uh, we will get this started. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yep, just so you know, we're, we're actually on stream right now, so don't... Uh, Are we live? Yeah, we're live right now. Okay. I just, I started it up, uh, you said he might be a few minutes late, so I figured I'd shoot the shit until, until you showed up and we can get this going. Okay. Uh, so, everybody in the chat wants to know who you are. I, I don't, I'm not really familiar, so I just kind of read your Twitter bio, so if you just want to, I, I guess, introduce yourself so they know who I'm talking to. Uh, okay. Any, anything you feel is relevant, whatever you want to say. Well, let's see. Uh, I am one of those notorious men's rights activists you keep hearing about, although I do not speak for all MRAs. And if anybody thinks so, you know, you'll find plenty of MRAs who don't like me or like me but think I'm just dead wrong about shit. So I'm not speaking for anybody but me. Okay. So, I mean, I mean, there's that. And plus, uh, I've been – I know a number of people in Germany and Austria and, and places – and Belgium and places like that who, uh, just like me, from day one, were questioning uh, the so-called rape mobs in, in Cologne on New Year's Eve, and I still got skepticism over it. And uh, uh, I think the only... Bo I, although, for the record, I think that if we have a real conversation, you're going to find I agree with you on a lot more than you think, but I think I had good reason to be skeptical, and I'm still holding on to some of my skepticism. Wait, now, so see, see, see already, already you said had reason to be skeptical. So have you changed your opinion? Because that, that's past tense. I've certainly changed my opinion some, but not all. Is that fair? Because I'll tell you where, what happened. It's, it's very clear to me that there were attacks. Okay? That, that, and I, I well, well, wait, 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 Dean. What, what evidence do you have for attacks? What's been reported on not just Breitbart, but a number? We're talking about we're talking about the attacks in Cologne, right? But the, there were no attacks in Cologne. You you told me this yourself. You said that uh, it, it, it nothing had happened. That it was just uh, I I don't know. I mean, you made it seem like it was pure fabrication uh, uh, when this when this was being broached, when this was being brought up. I mean, uh, my first interaction with you on Twitter was you basically telling me that I was a, a disingenuous, lying bigot that was leading a lynch mob. So, I, I, I guess, what attacks are you referring to? I mean, are you saying that what I was saying initially when we first started talking is actually true now? You see, and, and, and maybe, maybe this is Twitter, Jim, and maybe this was the heat of the moment, because what I remember is you starting with, oh, look, how pathetic these MRAs are. Uh, make an apologist for rape. That's what I remember being our first. But you know what else? I'll also say this. Maybe I'm misremembering. I think if we go back, we'll find it went that way. But maybe I responded to somebody who was also responding. You know how Twitter gets, especially when everybody's mad. Well, I, I can I can quote you our exact first interaction. Um, th this is where it began on January 7th. Uh, this is what I said. I, I think it speaks volumes to see somebody who writes for an outlet like Forbes, and, and I'll get to what I was referring to in a second, because I'm sure people are not going to know what the fuck this is about, but uh, I, I think it speaks volumes to somebody who writes for an outlet like Forbes to make these statements. For days no one wanted to publish, it took social media to force it being brought up, then it was watered down so as not to offend. Again, people had to push. Now you have statements coming out left and right about what transpired, yet there is a concerted effort to protect refugees. How about instead they focus their efforts on protecting women from being sexually assaulted and worry about immigrant feelings later? Your first response to me, our, our very first, <clears throat> pardon, our very first interaction was, your response was, how about take at least 30 seconds to question the credibility of the reports before we assume those men guilty of anything? My response, which ones, the 120 in Cologne, the 53 in Hamburg, or the 7 in Frankfurt? And then it, it basically went for, from there with you saying, so basically you guys are good with okay. sloppy evidence standards of feminists. Got it. And, and then from that point onward, 
that's where our conversation went. But uh, never once did I mention MRAs. Never once did I mention feminism. I was okay. simply, uh, my initial response was to a woman who's an economist at Forbes. And I swear to God, and this is on her Twitter and I have archives of this. She actually went on to Twitter and said that this is Francis Coppola too, for anybody who's unfamiliar. She said that she believed I, um, that the anti-immigration people organized the Cologne sex crimes as a way of getting immigrants out of Europe. She was putting forward, uh, this is a woman who writes for fucking Forbes, she was putting forward the idea that neo-Nazis painted themselves, I, 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 this is what I'd have to assume she's saying, painted themselves to look like immigrants and then attacked women in an effort to make people so uncomfortable that they would basically uh, force an exodus, that they would get all the immigrants out. So that statement and the statements preceding it during our initial you know, interaction were directed at Francis Coppola and her fucking pure insanity in regards to the news coming out of what was going on in Cologne with the initial reporting happening on the, the 6th of, uh, of January, I believe. Then I will plead guilty to jumping in the middle of a conversation I didn't realize had a broader context with you. There was a lot of stuff being flung at me on my Twitter wall. There were even people dragging. I, you know, I just saw this stuff happening, and I was reacting, and I was angry. Let me point a few things out to you, though. Go for it. Um, there have been multiple reports in Germany, in the German language press, just in the last two months, not to mention the last few years, about a rape, of, about police warning people about false rape reports. Um, there's, a, there's one I just tweeted the other day. You're, you're talking which, about the events in Rostock. Um, those articles well, no, are from, no, those articles are from October, November. Yeah, you're talking about Rostock, which is, I believe, 500 miles away from Cologne and right. a month or two preceding the events. And this is in, this is in reference to people who weren't immigrants. Th this has nothing to do with the Cologne events. So let's take a deep breath. Um, I think if you look at the very first tweets that we went through, I was working, again, this was when the news was breaking, right? I'm an MRA. I'm familiar with issues like false rape allegations. There's been multiple stories with the police complaining, even female police commissioners complaining about false reports. So the night it broke, I was like, wait a minute, you're jumping too fast. Well, yeah, and, but you're referencing the you're referencing two articles. I, I I read these. You looked at. I don't speak German, so I had to translate. Obviously, there's going to be some loss in translation, but they were from the websites mainpost.de, and I, I don't even know how the fuck to pronounce this, but o s t s e e dash z e i t u n g dot d e, and they were both referring to uh, Rostog, and they were talking about the the female uh, police commissioner, and you were, and she does quote in there that eight out of ten. Of the sex offenses they investigated out of the 239 that occurred for the year in Rostock, they found that there was no evidence for, there was nothing to support the claims that were made. That they, they were false or it was misinformation or it was some kind of other issue going on, but they were not legitimate. Now, that's what you're talking about. But again, my, my first, the, I have to draw a line here is Rostock is 500 miles away from Cologne. These events are months before what happened in Cologne. They don't deal with immigrants. Immigrants are the core issue of what we're talking about when we're talking about the Cologne sex attacks, when we're talking about just the massive problem that's taking place in Europe right now with immigration. Okay, we are probably in agreement on 99% of the immigration issue. Uh, we really probably are. I, I mean, I don't think it's practical to throw all those people out of Europe because how? But... Uh, clearly, it's been horrifically handled. Clearly, nobody in, in authority, including in the press, has done a good job over there. Um, so again, like I said when we started, we probably disagree on less than you think. Maybe, it's, again, maybe this is too much critter snarkage, but I've been talking to people in places like Germany and Sweden, by the way, and quite a few other countries over there about problems with false allegations. So I'm sorry if on the initial hearing of this news, I was like, come on. Plus, I must point out that very same night when you and I got into it, other people were sending me so-called evidence that was clearly not even from France. I was getting videos from Hungary. I was getting videos from France. I'm sorry. They weren't from Cologne. They were from France. They were from Hungary. They were from Egypt. Um, I'm saying, where's your fucking evidence? And that's all I was asking people for, and it wasn't showing up. Even now, I recall 1,000 Muslims rape 100 women. That's a real specific claim. You don't get to water down rape and say, well, he grabbed her tit and ran off with her purse. That's a sex mob. 
no, that's a thug behavior. Somebody who belongs in jail. Don't cheapen the definition of rape. I heard initially 100 women raped that night in the streets of Cologne. Guess what? You guys look about 97 short on that claim. Well, so, uh, okay. Well, let, let's we'll go by that step by step. One, I think the reason that you were getting links, and again, I can't speak for other people. I can you only do not. You do not. I'm I, not yeah, no, and that's fine. I can only speak for myself. I never made the claim of a thousand Muslims raping a hundred women. Nor did I link you to videos from other countries. However, I have had follow up, I have had follow up conversations with other people. I, I think what's getting confused here, and I see a reaction from people such as yourselves or MRAs, who are worried that this is some kind of feminist driven campaign against men. It is not. What you're seeing right now take place are people are starting to get tuned into the issue that there is a massive issue. Uh, there is a massive problem right now in Europe with immigration. The floodgates have been opened. Nobody has overseen who's getting in. You have a lot of uh, men, you have a lot of people with criminal backgrounds coming in. It was it was sold to people as this, oh my God, you know, look at the poor hungry children. You know, if, we've got all these families that want to come in here. It was complete bullshit. Germany now has 1.2 million refugees in there. They don't know who half of them fucking are. And, no, and immediately, no. yeah, and immediately preceding this, you know, and, and it's not just Germany too, it's all these other countries. I mean, Christ, look what just happened with Sweden. They just came out with a report saying that the media has intentionally suppressed migrant crimes that have happened in that country for five fucking years and that is that is on the tail end of reports that came out you know six seven years ago talking about what they call white pixelization where if somebody of a darker skin tone or somebody who was a uh, immigrant background committed a crime they would pixelate the image to make them whiter and appear lighter in certain publications so as not to be not to be racist because reporting factual information is apparently a problem for Swedes. So you see all these people linking all this stuff. I think what they're trying to get at, at least this is what I'm guessing is happening, is they're saying, look at the overall picture of what the hell is going on in Europe right now. We have a group of people we have let in from a region of the world that really doesn't hold the same cultural values that we do. And this is the reaction you get. Their ideology perpetuates this kind of behavior. And so they're linking you to all these different examples and saying, see, it happened here, it happened here, it happened here. I mean, after what happened on New Year's in Cologne, there was a five-day period, a five-day period, where they would not report on this. And, uh, in fact, let me, um, just, to, just to bring it up, if I can grab it here. Oh, crap, of course. And, and I've lost it. It was basically the former interior minister of uh, Merkel in Germany from 2013, I believe, had made the statement that, and th this is a former government official saying that there absolutely was an intentional cover-up and suppression of this story in the media because it is not something that they want to talk about. In fact, one of the, the heads of a major uh, news agency or television uh, studio over there even went on record and apologized and saying that they didn't cover this. They didn't talk about it. If you look at a lot of the dates of the articles that came out in relation to what happened in Cologne and even the other events in different countries for New Year's, uh, it, they mostly start on January 5th. You, you can't really find very much before that. And again, this, this ties into the immigration issue. This isn't uh, a men's right issue. This isn't a feminism thing. I mean, Christ, if you go look at the people defending this shit right now, it's not, um, excuse me, it's not, it's not MRAs. The MRAs aren't the majority of the people saying, oh my God, leave the Muslims alone. You've got batshit crazy feminists like Lori, uh, what is it, Lori Penny? I think I'm saying her name right? Writing these articles saying it's, it's you know, shit like it's xenophobic and racist to accuse these people of doing something. It's the same shit that Sweden engaged in. It's it's the exact same thing of you can't you can't dare criticize or bring it up because it's racist or xenophobic to talk about it. I I, I, I certainly I don't know about everything you just said. I can believe there's there that that maybe all of that is gospel truth because uh, I, I I happen to agree that the political correctness uh, uh, the PC left the what's called the social justice left um, has made the critical mistake that. Anybody, anybody running uh, a big government or anybody running anything should know if you lie to people long enough, when they find out, they're going to be really, really pissed. Um, so if nothing else, they, they deserve every bit of calumny had, uh, put on their heads because, I, you know, you've got to be honest with people. And what they've done from my perspective, I don't believe their so-called ideology is the main goal. I'm sorry. I read about what happened on Cologne. I keep reading as it keeps coming out. A lot of these guys were drunk. Oh, drunk jihadis. Give me a break. No. What they are is semi-literate immigrants with uh, who don't fit in and don't belong and are sitting in a ghetto. Gee, what could go wrong? I frankly don't see what's going to be much different about uh, 
places where those immigrants are living now in 10 years and Compton in L.A. Uh, they're getaways, nobody's who can't function in the in the. Well, I, I, I can, I can tell you what the difference is going to be. Compton may be ghettoized, but it's not going to be under Sharia law in a decade. I guarantee you the majority of these, I mean, when you look at even, God, what was it, the Pew poll, uh, or the Pew Research Foundation had done this poll of Muslims around the world talking about their ideology and how it impacts their basically their day li or day-to-day -day life. It's from 2013. I think it's April of 2013, if I'm right. But they, they broke it down. And you had, you know, based on their numbers, you've got, what, 1.6 billion Muslims? It was like 1 billion of them believe in Sharia law. And then half, uh, half a billion, 500 million, 500 million plus, it said that death... Uh, for leaving Islam was a reasonable thing. So when you're importing all these people from the Middle East and North Africa, where the majority religion in those regions, the ideology that they follow is is Islam, they are Muslims, you're, you're creating a situation. I mean, my God, the Imam in Cologne, right, came out and actually said that women were responsible for the sex assaults that happened in Cologne because men from North Africa don't know any better. He basically said because they wore skirts and perfume, they had it coming. And that's not just him. Because the, they thought they were whores. Yeah, I get it, it. right. And even the mayor of Cologne had said, well, maybe if the women had kept them at arm's distance, nothing would have happened. Well, how about I live in a European city and I shouldn't be molested by a bunch of fucking third worlders who can't get with the program and just have some basic fucking decency? Uh-huh. Uh huh. I I don't. I really don't want to debate Sharia shit with you because we'll be here all day. Uh, every Muslim I know lives by Sharia law, and I'm sorry. Depending on the school of interpretation and how you live it, they're not all going to come to these stupid, so, brutal, violent conclusions. All, all but, those Muslims. No, but, wait. All the Muslims but, you know. No, no. All the Muslims you know. Are you talking personally? Yeah. So in America. Yeah. Right. No, so they're not. No, 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 no. They're not coming from North Africa and the Middle East. You're saying personally you know them, so they're from America. Af no, no. Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq. So how do you know them personally if they live in Iraq and Afghanistan? Been interacting with them so, some on, them online. Ten years, yes, online. Yeah, I know people online that tell me all oh. sorts of shit. People online tell me they have spirit kin in their fucking heads, and <laughs> that they're really furries. It doesn't mean shit. People can say whatever they want online. I'm talking about. Hey, I spent two years filling out UN paperwork with over the internet. Is not some guy on the, some random guy. Give me maybe, a break. Maybe you got catfished, man. I don't know. People make up all sorts of crazy fucking shit and present themselves differently. Okay. It's the internet. You can't take okay. anything at face so, value. So in the end, you're just going to just say you're such an expert on their faith. We'll just we, – you're an imam, basically, and you get to interpret it for them. Okay, whatever. No, 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 Dean. You're giving me some personal fucking – I know this guy personally, so obviously you're wrong, Jim. Bullshit. You talk to some people online, and you're taking that as God's word. I know people who believe in Sharia law. I talked to a guy from Afghanistan on fucking AOL. That's not good enough. What, are you kidding me? Is that evidence? Well, evidence of your position, sir, is also lacking. So you can take your faith-based position, and I'll My faith-based position isn't faith-based. It's based on the fucking factual evidence coming out and how these people no, interpret Sharia law in their region. Your selective interpretation, sir, where you're getting to interpret it how you Was want it my it selective interpretation that had rape mobs running around Cologne? There is no proof at all that Cologne was about religion. None! Except for the fucking police reports. But police reports showing what? Crime reports. Where do the police reports say? Islam screamed Allahu Akbar as he stole her purse. You're talking about the oh. North North Rhine Westphalia state government has released a log of 1,000 offenses, 365 of them targeting 659 women. Talking about rape mobs and rape crip sheets. Where? Where does it tie that to religion? Where do these drunken people from different countries all have a j jihad patches on? Oh, Ivan Jervik wasn't good enough. The man who was a bouncer right in the middle of this event that was taking place, who was talking about women coming up to him and the men that were assaulting them? Or how about Jenny, the woman who was burned by a firework that was shoved down her shirt after she had her tits groped by North African men? I mean, these, these oh, aren't... They said, oh, and they said, Allahu Akbar, and I'm doing this because of my religion? Is that what the reporting is, or is that something... Oh, I'm add? sorry, you're, you're right, I forgot. The majority of people that come from North Africa are fucking Amish. How silly of me. Okay, so... It, no, no, I mean, right, that's the majority religion in that region. The people that come from North Africa are obviously Amish. I'm crazy, they're not Muslims. Islam isn't the major religion in these regions. Okay, uh, uh, you're asserting a causative factor there that you cannot, you cannot demonstrate. You simply believe it. You're saying their religion did it. I'm saying, absolutely, I'm saying, I know, I'm saying the ideology, yeah, the, the, you're damn right the religion facilitates it. 
It's a okay. male-dominated society that devalues women. You're absolutely fucking right. I'm 100% actually, saying that. Actually, Islam massively privileges women over oh, men. Oh, does it? Does it? Yes, when it they does. do female yes, circumcisions and fucking stone them to death, that's massively privileging them? When they need four witnesses for a woman being raped, See, they need four male start... witnesses? Four male witnesses. That's Jim, privileging this them? Is where you, Jim, this is where you start sounding exactly like a feminist, and I was right to call you on it. Didn't call you a feminist, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no Dean. You called me... No, no, you called me a lying, bigoted, lynch mob leading neo-Nazi because I was lying. Bullshit. And now you've backtracked. You You backtracked immediately when you got into the stream. You shrinked away from it. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Jim. You were right. Did I specifically call you a neo-Nazi? You called... uh, Dude, go look at your tweets. You told me you didn't even... Did I call you a neo-Nazi? Do you even remember what you said? I had to read it back to you because you don't remember. And I didn't say you were a neo-Nazi there. Let's see. You called me a bigot. You said I was leading a lynch mob. You called me a feminist. I'm fairly certain you did call me no, a neo-Nazi. No, I, I said you're talking like a feminist. I know that's what I said, and I never called you a neo-Nazi. Although, I also recently came across the story of neo-Nazis in Germany recently faking a rape mob. So Great. So again, yeah, faking. Uh, was, it, was it on New Year's Eve in Cologne? No, but this shit... Oh, okay, when did it happen? Was it like your other two stories that happened three months ago, 600 miles away? Yeah, so dance away from the fact that when you know... No, no, I'm asking you, geographically, where did it happen and when did it happen? Was it 600 miles away like the other story? And was it three months before Cologne? Could have been 1,000 miles away and a year before. Doesn't matter, because I wasn't saying everything, but nobody in Cologne lied so far as I know. And I never said anybody did. So then why are you bringing up neo-Nazis faking rapes if that's not the implication that they're obviously lying? No, because there's always reason to be skeptical. And skeptical of what? If, if the events that you're talking about happen in a different fucking location at a different time, what am I skeptical about? We're talking about Cologne. We're, is everything we're hearing out of Cologne correct? Is it all still correct? Do we know everything we need to know before drawing these conclusions? Have I seen? I haven't. I haven't seen one story that said that any of these people have so far been found to be liars. None of the, none of these stories that I've read over the and last week and a half. I didn't accuse anybody. I didn't accuse anybody of lying. You're either. asking me if they're factual. I'm saying there's no evidence so far that shows that they're not factual. Okay, you got me there. You got me there. So we'll, we're, we'll, let's have a religious war right now in the middle of Europe. That's a good plan. And blame it on the poor, the poor immigrants. I mean, the, uh, the, the, immigrants. The, po- the poor immigrants, the poverty-stricken immigrants. There's poverty, oh, you, there's poverty all over the world that doesn't justify sexual assaults or violence. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to listen to this socioeconomic excuse for brute-like, thuggish behavior. Well, it is brute-like, thuggish behavior, but you're wanting to put it all on one factor, and I'm not going to let you. Sorry. Or I'll let you, but I'll just call you a fool. And I'll, say that you're, fool. and I'll say that you're an idiot that obviously has his eyes closed to the real issue that's happening right now in Europe. The real issue is that what? We're under assault by Muslims? The, 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 real issue is that, the real issue is that unchecked immigration and allowing open borders from third world countries is going to have a drastically negative effect on European culture, Absolutely. safety, security, and future. And then, that problem, that. and then that problem is fueled by the ideology these people live under and are importing into a new area. They do they not believe in multiculturalism. They believe in a dominant culture, their culture. They are not interested in learning German values or English values or French values. They are there They're... to basically implement a caliphate. And that is what is going to happen. Okay. Um, I agree with everything except, I agree with every bit of that except the paranoid, deluded notion that they're trying to establish a caliphate. Give me a break. Why is it paranoid? No, 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 fuck you. No, 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 no. Why is it paranoid and delusional? Why? Because you just agreed with everything I said. You said they're not multicultural. They want their own dominant way. They're not looking to share. They're coming in unchecked. These people are from the third world. Why the fuck wouldn't they want a caliphate? Why wouldn't they import the same shit they had in North Africa and the Middle East? If you agree with everything else I just said, why wouldn't they recreate the same shit in Europe? (laughs) Okay. Okay, so obviously, if they're from a different culture that doesn't mesh well with German culture, if they are functionally semi-literate at best, if they're coming out of, of deep lack of education, deeply different cultural values, there's going to be massive friction. I have to say that, but you want to make pretend we're having a new crusade and a religious war? You're full of shit. When did I ever say that I want to take up arms against Islam in the name of Christ? Don't call it a fucking well, crusade, because that's not what it is. You're talking to an apatheist, so you can leave the religious shit at the door. I'm addressing a real-world issue that's taking place in Europe right now. I haven't called for a crusade. I didn't say kill them. I didn't say put Muslims in camp. I told you there is a problem that needs to be addressed, and that problem is unchecked immigration, and that problem is the ideology of Islam being imported unchecked into Europe. 
yeah, well, we don't agree on the religious angle. Sorry, we don't. And I think you have no proof for that, sir, except pseudo scholars like Robert Spencer, Bat Yor, and that crazy bitch Pam Geller. I don't know who any of those fucking people are. So you're completely uneducated on this matter. You just right? told me. No, fuck off. You just told me they're crazy. So why would I be uneducated if I don't listen to crazy people? If I well, said, you don't listen to listen lunatics, to does that mean I get to say you're uneducated? No. It would be a sane decision not to listen to lunatics. You just complimented me. I don't know who those people are. Obviously, I'm not a lunatic. I don't follow Where them. is your paranoid fantasy of a caliphate coming from then? Because there isn't one. Those people aren't coming out of one, so they're certainly not going to be looking to establish one. In fact, a lot of Muslims hate each other, just like Christians do. They are not a unified force. They don't go into their mosque saying, how can we make everybody be Muslim today by for Bullshit. That, that kind of religious inflaming is also fueling attacks on Muslims. Oh, my, yeah. I mean, my God, you know, all the attacks on Muslims like Paris... And, I mean, don't forget America with San Bernardino, those those poor Muslims that were targeted by no, un other innocent people crusading against them. Oh, my God. No, you know what? I'm not playing the, the moral equivalency game, okay? No, I'm it's telling you, you are... don't have any fucking... Uh, you're talking about Muslims being persecuted. There are dead <laughs> Parisians. There are dead Parisians at the hands of Muslims. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, thank you for declaring them them martyrs in your cause. I never... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. No, admit it, Jim. You're having a holy war. Dean, you're so fuck. full of fucking shit. I said dead Parisians. When did I call them martyrs? You're treating them like martyrs. Cause you just said that Muslims were persecuted and hounded okay. in Europe, and I told you no. I gave you an example of Europeans that were persecuted and killed by Muslims. And I can give you examples and reports of Great. Muslims give me one. Of Gi immigrants. Great. Um, give me give me one on the Paris. scale of Paris. Give me one on the scale of Paris right now. Go ahead. Go. Uh, no. So you win. You're obviously right in all your arguments. You win. Thank you, because you don't have a fucking example, and we both know it. Actually, I have, we have all kinds of examples. Great. Give me one the size of Paris. Go. From police reports. Give me okay. an example the size of Paris. Go. No, I don't have one. So you win. Great. That's what and I just all, fucking all said. Against, all crimes against Muslim immigrants are now justified. Thank you. When did I say they were justified? I told you I'm not calling to have them killed or murdered or butchered. No, you're just blaming them, all of them, collectively, for the work of madmen. No, I'm blaming their ideology. That's what it's fuels their, their madmen. And when they tell you that's not their ideology, you call them liars. How do they win? When you've got 500 million people that think killing because they leave Islam is okay, that's a fucking issue, Dean. <sighs> that's true. It is. And it's one that Muslims need to be talked to about. Talk to about what? What is this myth of the moderate Muslim? You know, we talk about all these moderate Muslims and all these good guy Muslims. You've got a fucking half a billion people. That's that's nearly twice the size of the population of the United States that wants to kill anybody that lives Islam. That kind of seems like a bigger fucking deal. You know, we, we say, oh, the Muslims need to address it. I get this idea that people think when I talk about this, like, oh my God, you hate Muslims. If it was Christians doing it, I'd be up their ass about it. If it was Jews doing it, I'd be up their ass about it. But it's not the Christians, the Jews, the Buddhists, the Taoists that are in the middle of this shit right now. The Jesus. problem we are facing right now is directly related to Islam and immigration from parts of the world where it is done. Dominant. Okay. All right. You win. All right. So you're right. They are a totalitarian ideology that wants to destroy us because uh, a good portion of their co of they're, they're divided over whether or not you should be killed for leaving your religion. Let's leave out all socioeconomic factors as if that doesn't matter. Now, what do you want to do, Jim? Do you want to just keep pelting them and telling them their religion is shit so they hate you more? Or do you want to talk to them about how they changed that shit? Oh, oh should, I, should I coddle them? Do you think if I hug them hard enough, they're not going to want to fucking detonate or, a suicide belt? Uh, yeah. See? There you go. Uh, you don't know any Muslims. You're just, you just flat out clearly don't. And so oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. You're the expert because you talk to people on AOL. Give me a fucking break. I talk to actual scholars as well. Scholars? As well. Oh, I see. They're scholars uh, on AOL. Fuck, I'm sorry. I misinterpreted that. Obviously, you're talking right. to people online who are scholars. So, Did you know Jim, that I'm a scholar, too? I've got four PhDs. You're talking to me online, so you can take my word for it. So, Jim, I was, uh, even though we're in agreement on so much, I'm sorry to say I was 100% right to call you a religious bigot. It's what you and your fans are. Hey, hey, you know, I'm not a bigot. Islam isn't a fucking race. Use a better <laughs> use a better word. No, no, no. Use a better word. Bigots about race. I'm not a bigot. So go ahead. Go another to word. Go Webster right now. And Give me another Dean. word, Dean. I don't have another word. It's the correct word. You think you're intellectually superior in a completely unjustified way because you're a pig ignorant heathen on religion. Uh, well, I'm, well, a I'm a he. I'm a heathen. 
I thought, right. are, are you a Muslim? No, I'm so not. So then why I would you call me a heathen? Because it's, go look the word up. You just called yourself an apatheist. A pantheist, yeah. Uh, so you don't care. I was just, by the way, I was teasing, but still, it's the correct word. So is bigot. Go look it up. You believe yourself intellectually superior in an unjustified way, and you reject all counter evidence to your opinions. Dean, I love that you come at me with this shit like, oh, you're like a feminist, or oh, you're a bigot, or all oh, you're this. You are! Dean, you're a fucking SJW. I watched you block people, uh, countless people on Twitter because they hurt your fucking feelings, and now here you are screaming racism, bigotry, uh, all this I other gay it. shit, because you, you can't are. argue for crap. You lying faggot, I didn't call you a racist, and I never did. Because I don't think you are one, you liar. I think you're misinformed. I think you're I stumbling think all over the fucking place. You told me that Muslims are oppressed in Europe. I said, give me an example on the scale of Paris. I didn't you say couldn't, oppressed. You couldn't I do it. They have you couldn't do them. it, Dean. I couldn't give it on this. You, you went on a rant, a fucking rant for days talking shit to me on Twitter, saying, this never happened in Europe. Now here you are, dancing around, doing a fucking shuck and jive on my stream. You were right, Jim. So, uh, Dean, if you, if you constantly say shit that isn't true and that you know you fucked up on, why should I listen to anything you have to say? You've already backpedaled twice. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm the only one doing any backpedaling here, but... Whatever. What have I, I backpedaled on? My... All my positions are out in the open. What have I backpedaled on? You. <sighs> Give me an example. No, I don't. You win. You're completely right. Your your theology is spot on. Your 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 notion of who these people are is spot on. Even though I totally agreed with you that immigration has been handled poorly. Even though I totally agreed with you that PC is a major problem and part of what's causing what's going on here now. Even though I totally admitted to you there have been attacks and they're deplorable, you can't compromise even a little. You've got to call me an SJW. That's because that's what you behave like, Dean. You act like a fucking SJW. Did you block people on Twitter because you didn't like what they had to say? Am I making that up? Did you not do I, that? Oh, yeah. Of course I do. I'm sorry. When did blocking people become the new mortal sin? Well, see, I don't do that because I'm not a faggot. I mean, you called me a faggot, so allow me to return the favor. I'm not a faggot that shrieks away because somebody says something I dislike. I let them say whatever the fuck they want. I notice, no. though, that a lot of SJWs and feminists, though, love to tune people out when they say something they don't like to hear. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I hear stuff I don't like to hear any day, but when people come at me with personal attacks and bullshit, at some point I block them, especially I've got people who seem to have nothing better to do than bug me all day. Little secret, though, I usually unblock everybody within a day or so. Um, but whatever. I'm not required to sit and listen to people fling bullshit at me. No, you absolutely aren't. But it's the same mentality. I mean, it's the same thing that you see so, SJWs and feminists engage in, is it not? So, so, so the ideologically pure... Uh, Never block anybody. That's the new social rule. No, I'm sorry. I'm not apologizing. Did, did I say that the ideologically pure did that? When did I say that? I can back the stream whatever up. Your, whatever, your, whatever your idea of, I'm sorry, Jim's idea of, idea of purity is I never block anybody no matter how obnoxious. But yeah, because I'm not, I'm not a pussy, be. Dean. Right. I don't block people because oh, I'm not a pussy. That's, I, didn't say it was ideologically, I didn't say it was ideologically pure. I'm saying you're a pussy. Oh, okay. I'm a pussy. Well, say it to my face sometime. Um, oh, wait, wait. Do, do you, do you want to meet in real life? Are you going to fight me now? Is this the internet tough guy routine? Like, oh, you wouldn't dare say that to no, my face. No, yours is the internet tough No, 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 no. Back it up, sunshine. You said, say it to my face. So are we, are you... Say it to my uh, face. Uh, uh, oh, ahead, so you're... I don't think you would. Go, I go ahead. Do it in my face. It's hard to take you seriously when your voice cracks. Doesn't sound intimidating. It's not really intimidating when you so... challenge somebody to do something in real life. And your voice cracks like this, Dean. I see. All right. Uh, so... Anyway, uh, your low rent, low IQ trash. I'm glad I made my points. You that... made no points. You made yourself look like a fucking asshole that backpedaled left and right, that had nothing to bring to the table other than outdated articles from other areas of fucking Germany. You didn't back <laughs> anything up. I backed up that it was right to be skeptical, and you know Skeptical it. of what, you fucking twit? You have evidence before you that you fucking cast aside because you're an idiot. Okay. Okay, I was right to be skeptical, and I don't apologize. Uh, for right to be skeptical, skeptical about what? I did, was right. To how did you uh, start this stream off, Dean? What did you say to me? You know what, Jim? You were right about many things. Right. So uh, uh, you're right to be skeptical, but I'm right. Excuse me. Uh, yes or like no? Yes. Was I right or not, Dean? About what? About what? Wait, what did you say I was right about when you started the stream? That there is a problem with unchecked immigration. There's a problem with PC. There's a problem with. Uh, 
the people there not meshing culturally. Uh, the the press has behaved badly. The police have behaved badly. We can't agree on all those things. And me still have started this off by saying I'm skeptical. There were a thousand women or a thousand Muslims raping a hundred women. That shit didn't happen. That's what I was told. Did I? I like I said to you. Like I responded to you. That wasn't me that told you that, was it? I, I was right to stay. Was it me that told you that? And by the way, I repeat, no, it wasn't. Great. But I was right to stay skeptical. And I'm not going to ba back down or say I was So you're skeptical, skeptical of things other people say, but what I said was right. <sighs> what? You just said you're skeptical of people telling you a thousand Muslims raped a hundred girls. I said I didn't say that. So you're saying you're skeptical of it. But the other shit that I was saying, you said, no, you know what? I agree. So I agree with some of it, and I don't agree with all of it. What I'm sorry. what what didn't you agree with in our initial conversation? What have you what do, what do you still hold that is untrue about what our initial conversation was about? On Twitter? Yeah. yeah. It's it's back on the it's back on the eighth. If you want to use Twitter advanced search, you can pull no, it up. No, I don't need to. <laughs> on the eighth, I was I was accusing you and others of of jumping to conclusions with, ins with insufficient evidence, and I don't apologize for that. You don't. If you I, don't apologize. I tried apologizing if my words were too harsh, but I, that's all I tried to apologize for. I was right to be skeptical in that moment, and I'm not going to apologize for that. Why should I? Were you? Were you? It has subsequently come out that there. Did your skepticism? Happened. Did your skepticism bear fruit? Where did it turn out that the attacks didn't happen? It bore fruit that they certainly didn't happen the way I was told they were happening. Uh, and what were you told by me? Uh, this is not all about you, Jim. The, you're on my fucking stream, Dean. We're talking about our conversation. You're goddamn right it's about me. So what about what I told you was untrue? What about what I told you didn't turn out to be factually accurate? You're not debating the asshole that told you it was a thousand oh, Muslims raping a oh. hundred women. You're debating me. No, I'm debating you, the idiot who claims it's about religion. That, that, hey, that's great. That's a nice that. duck. That's a great duck. Answer the fucking question, Dean. What about my initial comments turned out not to be fucking true? Uh, okay, I guess nothing. Great. So then, what the fuck are you doing here? You, you basically said everything I said was true. You're just pissed off because you don't like me. Great. That that's fine. What do you? I never disliked you, and I still don't dislike. So you, you like lying racists and bigots? Actually, I have a lot of people like friend, who are friends I would consider racists and bigots. It's not the biggest sin in the world. So then, why even why even throw that out there? What's the point then? I threw it out initially with you because I saw you leaping to conclusions, and I still think you're leaping to conclusions you can't support. Oh, okay. So you but don't you don't like the you don't like no no no. Well. This goes back to the SJW shit. You don't like the way I think. You don't like the conclusions I come to. So you throw out bigot to what herd me off and make me think something else. Are no, you saying that you're attaching? It's accurate. No, it's I'm asking. I'm just using the words oh. that you just used. You said you don't like the conclusions I'm going. You don't think they're supported. So you throw out these words. Why to herd me off because you don't like my wrong think? That's not SJW-ish to you? I don't have any intention of ever trying to censor you or harass you or try and get you to lose your job because I don't like your opinion. I never, I never, I never said number you did. Two, and number, well, that's what SJWs actually do. I know what SJWs do, Dean. I fucking talked lives. about them for the last they three destroy, years. They destroy people's lives is what they do. And they create ideological constriction that's just uh, suffocating beyond belief. They're some of the worst people in the world. Um, but they didn't invent the concept of bigotry. Just go look at a dictionary. I don't think you know what you're talking about on the religion. I really don't. The rest of it, yeah. The religion, no. Sue me. Oh, okay, so you just disagree with my stance that Islam is the core of the problem of the immigrants coming over. Yes, yes. Okay. I do disagree with that. On the other hand... Still, it adds to a major uh, 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 cultural difference, and it may not be overcomable. They need to be uh, they need to be talked to about it. And I don't mean talk to cuddled here, have a cookie. I don't want to offend your religion. Uh, I really do think it's appropriate to have the conversation of, hey, in this country, people get to switch religions. Do you accept that? If not, get the fuck out of here. I mean, that's one of the biggest stupid things they did. So you know what? To some extent, I agree with you. That one part of it, I'm sorry, I, I'm going to go ahead and backtrack because I'm going to give you credit on this one. I'm sorry. Um, because it is true. They need to be asked if they're among those people who say you should be killed for leaving your religion. Uh, they should be told, you know, uh, no, we put people in prison for that here. Do you understand that you have freedom of religion here if you don't get out or just don't come here? Um, 
I, I don't have a problem with that either. I don't even I think that's more of a cultural than a religious value, but we'll split the difference and say, yeah, that is part of the problem. It's the only one I've ever been able to identify, though, and I have written about it in the past. I know lots of Muslims who are nuclear scientists and doctors, and they've been here for 30 years. They aren't the problem. But did nuclear scientists and doctors ever commit crimes? Well, the, then that, well... I mean, yes or no, you're the acting like their profession yes, and education uh, you know, exempts them from being criminals. Uh, so <laughs> you think my buddy Aziz... I know, I'm asking you a simple, yeah. straightforward question. Do oh, nuclear scientists... Of course they So then saying that they're nuclear scientists and that they're educated means nothing. The, the, and so it must mean that they're going to be... I never said they were going my to be. Is, I said, does it exempt them from being criminals? My point is these primitive, crim, these primitive, I'm going to call them primitives, coming out of Africa, don't have the cultural values of, of anybody who grew up in, a, in an elite society. They just don't. These people, you know, these are frequently, not all of them coming over, of course, but these are frequently people for whom a rich man has a herd of ca ca camels. I mean, yeah, you, we've, you've brought a bunch of foreign semi-literate people into Germany and other countries, and now you don't know what to do with them because you are a bunch of fucking fools. They, I mean, not you, Jim, but they were fools to do that. They basically brought barbarians in, and now they don't know what to do with them. And that would be the core of the issue that's going on yeah. in Europe. And again, that goes back to my initial point of the reason you had people bringing up articles from Hungary. I don't know about the thousand Muslims and a hundred women. I have no idea who that was. But people bringing up examples in Hungary and all these other countries is directly related to the immigration that's currently happening in Europe and that it's currently coming from specifically the Middle East and North Africa. Uh, yeah, all of that. All the all of that is happening. All of that is happening. It's it's being handled. So wrong, um, which is why, really, when we started, I don't feel that I was backtracking. I was trying to hold out an olive branch and say, listen, there was heated things all over Twitter going on when this started. Here's, you know, here's what I really think. Well, Dean, I deal with heated shit all the time on Twitter. I mean, I, I, I don't get why you keep bringing, you brought that up a couple of times, like, you know, the, the heat of the moment kind of thing, whatever. The Internet is made for shit talking and trolling it and is. banter back and forth. That's, that's par for the course, everyday thing. It is, and then you get on a, on the phone or hang out like this, and hopefully come to a better understanding of each other's positions that you can't get into 140 characters. Well, no, not necessarily. I, I'm here for the banter. I'm I'm here for the conversation, Dean. Whether that oh, conversation right. is you know civil or whether we're just shit talking each other it doesn't matter to me. That's that's the internet to me. That's that's how I live and breathe and interpret right. it. Well, then fine. Then stop crying like a little bitch when someone calls you a bigot. I mean, really? Come on. De up. Dean, again, it's it's hard, hard, hard to hear you shit talk when your voice cracks, man. Oh, Stop yeah. calling people a bigot. Does not sound intimidating. I'm just telling you straight up, right. bro. All it right, doesn't man. sound intimidating. I'm not trying to intimidate you. Well, no, no. What I'm saying I'm is if you want to talk shit, Dean, you need the voice for it. You can't. It's like oh, I, okay. I had this guy that came on uh, the Meadowcast, fucking Guitar Boy 447. I swear to God. And if he's listening, he knows what I'm talking about. He's a mute browser. The most autistic voice you've ever heard. I had one guy that came on. I swear to God, man. He wanted to, he was talking about, you're talking about like, you know, we were talking, we briefly touched on it, neo-Nazis, and you're talking about the Nazi attacks and shit. He was touching on eugenics, and there's nothing funnier to me than listening to somebody who has a kind of autism voice talk about fucking eugenics and putting people into camps. So all I'm saying is, if you want to shit talk and banter, either have the voice for it, or you better bring something better to the table than saying, stop being a little bitch because I called you a bigot. Okay. Stop being a little bitch because I called you a bigot. There, is that a little better? So it's, it's a little better. It's a little better. <laughs> More from the diaphragm. More from the diaphragm, but you're getting there. More from the diaphragm. All right, I'll work on it. Listen, Jim, I don't dislike you. I disagree with you on some things. And if you want to call me an SJW, fine, but I, I think challenging uh, ideas is not SJWism. I don't want anybody. Oh, I, I don't think you're an SJW. I think you just engage in some of the practices they do. I think it. Well, listen, I, listen. I, I mean, I, I, this is my engage in, in in rape hysteria just like they do. So hey, we both think the same thing. About how is it rape people. hysteria if you just agree with me that the initial reports I was talking about turned out to be accurate? You said you don't because disagree. The initial reports from other places weren't so accurate. Again, you're talking about shit other people are bringing up to you. Yeah, a lot of people in your little circle. You were just my my little circle. I don't stuff. own a cabal, Dean. I don't you run a. Do uh, I? But you're sitting there making excuses for the bullshit. They I'm were saying I can't prepared. answer for other people. It's me and you on this call. All I can do is talk about well, myself. And that's why I started saying, "Hey, Jim." I mean, am I bringing up other MRAs? Am I talking about what is his name, Paul Elam? Am I saying, "Hey, Dean, I need you to account for what he said"? 
No. <laughs> so then I can only address the shit that I said, man. And all I was doing was giving context. And, and admitting I may have been shot off too fast at you. I started with that. But I still think there's plenty to talk about here. In fact, even though we've been shit talking, we've both had some interesting things to say, haven't we? I think. So you're, you're talking about rape hysteria. You, you, at least yeah, rape whether, hysteria. whether it, it's from me rape or hysteria. from other people. Ta ta okay, I'll let you go with that. Talk, tell me what your position on that and why you think rape hysteria is taking place. Uh, there's reason to suspect. There was more reason to suspect it on the night that you and I were getting into it than there is now. Uh, there was reason to suspect because the police in multiple parts of Germany have been complaining about that. Um, because historically, we know the political groups will frequently use a woman in peril, the damsel in distress trope. Uh, it works for feminists because it works. It's older than feminism is. We've see, we, we have seen one of the favorite things the Nazis used to do was uh, show Jews in threatening rapey poses to good German white women. Everybody who studied the history of this shit knows it happens that way. There is such a thing. Uh, if I specifically called you a rape hysteric, I apologize. But for being concerned that the rape hysteria was going on, I would revert to, I heard 100 women raped that night on the streets of Cologne. Looks like 97, 98 short on that one. And yeah. Well, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily know about that. There, there have been there articles now people, over the last I, two days talking about 1,049 victims, of which 359 were sexual offenses. 659 yes. women targeted. But so please don't even call that rape, please. Dean. I mean, I'm uh, sorry. Don't call uh, every kind of rude sexual harassment a rape. That's cheapening something. We haven't even gone into the specifics. You're, you're outright dismissing that any of them might have been rapes by saying... No, 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 no. I already said there were rapes, just not to the ludicrous scale we were heard. The, the, best, the last I heard, and I was looking as late as last night, there appear to be three which have some meat to them. Some real merit to them. Three. How, how the would we are, define a rape taking, having the meat? Police taking, that the police are taking seriously. Oh, okay. Well, you know, let, let's talk about two things, at least in regards to rape hysteria. I think these two are interlinked, and I think they're important. One, there has been. I, I mean, you had the police chief get fired. You've had uh, police officers, especially in Germany, getting their shit chewed out because government officials and people in the media have come forward, and this is in the newspapers. I mean, I can, I can get you the direct quotes. I can try to find them and pull them up for you. Uh, like the interior minister and other people that were in the cabinet or currently in government, had said that there was a media blackout, that mm -hmm. uh, this was intentional, and that mm -hmm. immigrant crime has been suppressed. I mean, we saw an example in Sweden, we've seen some in Austria, we've seen some in Germany. Yeah. So you're talking about like, oh, um, it's rape hysteria because people are talking about it. People were pissed off and they're talking about it on social media because it was intentionally, intentionally, deliberately suppressed by the media and by European governments. And I've already stipulated that that was happening. Right, right. So I, that that's happening. So you're seeing a fervor online, and you're seeing people talk about this, not yeah. because I think it's driven by rape hysteria, but by pure anger at the police it, and the media for suppressing it. It looked like it when it started to me. And it still looks like people are anxious to make every, uh, every sexual harassment charge a rape, a rape charge. And that bothers me, too. Well, they're um, listed as sexual offenses, not sexual, sexual harassment. Offense. Well, sexual offense, it will include anything up to sexual har harassment. That's what my point. Well, okay, you give me, I, maybe we're talking different definitions. What is your distinction between harassment and offense? Well, harassment would be a category of offense. Uh, okay, run, well, run describe, up to describe somebody, it for me. Run up to somebody, feel them up, uh, grab their, have your friend grab their wallet, and then you both run away, which multiple German friends of mine have told me they've ha seen happen. Oh, okay, so you don't feel that grabbing somebody's genitalia is a it's sexual totally offense. A, it's a sexual offense, but please don't cheapen it by calling it rape. I, I didn't. I referred to them as sexual offenses. Right, but people are calling it rape mobs. Well, and I'm sorry. That, I mean, that bugs me too. That's a, I'm, not, I'm not accusing you. With crimes ranging from mere pickpocketing to full-blown group rape is what's being reported in the newspaper on the yeah. list of shame. That's of right. 821 complaints. Yeah, Okay. So there you go. I'm sorry, is that, is, that, is that 821 rapes? Is it 372 rapes? Or is it various forms of thug fuck behavior that needs to be put somebody into jail? I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you how, how, how grabbing somebody's tit and running off with her purse is not the same thing as raping her, but it's not. And a lot of people... No, no, I'm saying that the crimes off. that were listed range from 
Yeah, they rape them. And you're right. And but you're you, right. you said there were no rape mobs, but they're describing group rape. <sighs> okay. Well, I mean, does that not, would you not count group rape as a rape mob? All right, you went on that one. You went on that one. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying that all 359 were were group rapes. Well, well and, and the people talk like it is, and the, you know, and I'm, I'm not talking to you. I just people just, people just keep talking like it is, and I keep asking for sanity here. That's all. At least that's what I think I'm doing. You know, well, maybe I'm just a fool. Maybe I'm just a dimmy. Maybe I'm just kissing ass because I don't want to be mean to my Muslim friends. Well, Dean, Whatever. how, how well, else see... would you describe the situation in Europe other than pure insanity? You have I wouldn't. no, I no, wouldn't. but I mean, you you have the government and the media intentionally covering up sexual offenses by foreigners in your country. Let's say you were German. Just, and yet, just and yet, just two months, they were talking in the press openly, including female police commissioners complaining about false ones. So again, yeah, no, no, like, Dean, back up. Who the that, fuck knows what's happening? Is no, man? that that's what I'm saying though. If you have a government that's willing to suppress actual rape crime and sexual offenses, maybe the previous reports were suppressed too. Maybe the reason that police commissioner is saying that is because they were under the same orders that the police in Cologne were under, not to investigate, not to follow up on, and that's not a, to allow the media to follow up on. I mean, you, a, we have evidence of an actual cover-up taking place in Europe for a five-day period. And yet we also have other f f reports appearing in the news of police just kind of randomly filling out reports that they can't even validate just so they don't want to get in trouble. I literally don't know what I believe over there, except I know it is all ultimately about the refugee problem. And no, it's not screaming racism. Yeah, okay, racism's there sometimes. Give me a fucking break. It's not the worst crime in the world. That's not the real issue. The issue is these people are not rubbing up, are not fitting in with the, with the mainstream culture. Um, the mainstream culture has every right to be uncomfortable with them and to complain about crimes. Uh, this is why it bothers me. I feel like we're in a time where no one can take a, reason, a middle ground on something. I have to be a super uber duper lefty um, if, if I disagree with you on some things rather than thinking, OK, well, we agree on a lot of this because we do. Um, well, I, Dean, what's the point? I mean, there's no point in taking a middle ground <laughs> If there's, if there's, right. no, I mean, what, what, compromise for the sake of compromise is foolishness. It's folly. What, what's the point in saying that's not, there's no merit in that? Just saying, well, I took the middle ground, and that somehow is an applaudable thing. It isn't. It's not I, something that should be lauded that you compromise for the sake of compromise. I'm not compromising for the sake of compromise. So maybe I shouldn't have used the word middle ground because I'm not compromising for the sake of compromising. I really believe the words I'm saying. Um, I just, I, and I just... Well, you, you just played. said there's so much insanity, though, that you have to be an, a super uber lefty to kind of reach that middle ground. So it sounds like you're, you're intentionally shifting to the left just to keep that compromised middle ground position. No. Uh, people arguing your position frequently accuse me of being a super uber lefty like an SJW, which you did do in this conversation. I, I, I said you behave I, in the mannerism similar to them, and you do. I agree with so much of what you're saying, um, yet I will continue to call for calm. I will continue to, to note that there's reason to be skeptical on both sides of this question. Um, and I, what else can I say? Um, Jim, we've been at it an hour. Thank you for at least having me on. I still think we agree on more than we disagree on, and I don't dislike you. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll give you the last word here then before we end out. Is there anything in particular you want to say before we, we cut it? Um, no. Uh, anybody who just wants to shit talk, I'm usually not really that into shit talk. Uh, that's just me. Um, uh, we agree on more than we disagree on. Thanks for having me on. Have a good one, guys. All right. Have a good morning, Dean. Bye. All right, chat. Well, that was, uh, I fuck, I should have asked him how he says his last name. That was Dean Esme. I'm, I'm going to go with Esme because that's, I think that's how you say it. And this was a discussion on the events in Cologne. So there you go. Uh, it was a little shorter than I thought. I thought we'd go for a little bit longer. But again, it's really early in the morning, so I'm sure he's got work and other shit to do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself, chat. I hope you had a good time. It's a nice way to start off the morning with a little bit of uh, a little bit of banter, a little bit of uh, a little bit of shit talk. Um, I, I, if this was a normal metacast, I'd be going for like three hours. But again, this was just kind of a conversation between the two of us. And there you have it. So have a good morning. Enjoy your work day. Enjoy university. I don't know what the fuck you people do. Or go back to bed. For those interested, the stream will be up on the channel like the other metacasts. Um, I'll put it in the playlist if you want to watch it later for whatever reason.
And uh, yeah, I think we'll close it out here.